out, everyone. Let's continue. So, technically, what Shigeru did was really irresponsible of her. I mean, there's a chance that the boss's vanilla chocolate we're in could have been sent to the wrong location. This resulted in them getting lost. That is very true, Seiko. Oh, the moving truck could have had an accident, or one of the boxes could have fallen on them and crushed them. So, technically, it was very wrong, Shiguro, to put them in such a situation. Mm-hmm. But, thankfully, nothing happened to them. What do you mean, firm yet kind? Sometimes I have no idea what my sister is talking about. Well, she's always been like this, so I let it slide. Still, well, it was wrong of you to... What it... It was also wrong of me to move out without saying anything to you. I always scratched my cheek while looking away. She'd been such a clingy, adoring little sister in the past that people even made fun of her for it. That's why I had to use such a roundabout high hand tactic. In a sense, she worried about me more than even chocolate and vanilla. That's why I didn't really feel like complaining. <laughs> She reminds me a little bit of Yuka with, um, <gasps> Satoshi, yeah. It's only been a few days, so nothing really happened. Shakura had a fine smile on her face as I rubbed her head. She had a small laugh and smiled. It must have felt as good for her as it does for the cat girls. Ah, Wait, what? Oh my. The two of them deliberately raised their hands and grinned at me bitterly. Azuki and Mabel were being a little too harsh, but even so, I didn't try to argue it. Sorry about the Zuki and Maple. I already feel guilty enough as it is, so lay off, okay? You know, Cinnamon actually reminds me of you, Naomi, a little bit, but she also reminds me a lot of me. And why is that, Seiko? Because of her mind. What's her mind like? No, no worries, Naomi, but she has a um, big, um, sickle. Sorry, Naomi, sorry, I didn't mean to. Hmm. She puts her hand underneath her... Sickle? Sorry, but she does it like Kiana from Honey Pop. Oh yeah, she does, doesn't she? Cinnamon Coconut, I'm sorry for having worried you guys too. It won't happen again, so please cut me some slack. I lowered my head towards Cinnamon and Coconut. And just like that, all the cackers in my family were assembled. I appreciate the warmth of having my family here right now. And my little sister. I appreciate it. We've been through a lot too. Sorry. Mm -hmm. She wrapped her small arms around my hand. She didn't say anything about me slipping out without telling anyone. She simply just forgave me. Even my little sister seems to have grown well. Flora said that. Alright, I'll do that. 
We linked our pinky fingers together when we were little. We always made promises with pinky swear. Shigura smiled like a mischievous child once we'd done this. It was rather cute. Shigura! My wonderful little sister is so spoiled. Even so, she's still my little sister. Things always seem to go this way between us, so we didn't mind. Mind you, Naomi, I really like her kimono. Oh, yes, I really like that as well. It's like when, um... Mayu made us kimonos, remember? The pretty ones. But she, um, she and Azumi had, like, the not-so-pretty ones. And you thought, like, she would have given them the same ones as us. I know. I still have that kimono. Why would he have to hide his love of baking in the first place, Naomi? I'm not sure. Maybe they're, they're from, like, a high family where they don't like that type of stuff. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're supposed to be, like, a running a family business. Even the cat has been helping to destroy all the evidence, though. <laughs> oh! So they do have a family business with traditional candy. So he's not supposed to like baking, he's supposed to make sweets? <laughs> It seems so, Seiko. It seems that he has to run the family business. That's why he ran away without telling anybody what he's doing. That way he could follow his passion of baking. Oh, Naomi! So valiant! She said that with a slightly troubled smile. Shigura Chalk and Vanille said the same thing with the same smile. It would be nice if everything could go that smoothly. Just like before with Vanille and Chocolate Vanille, I rubbed her heads and said the same thing I told them. It's so sparkly and clean, isn't it, Naomi? Shigura seemed really intrigued as she looked around at the mixers, rollers, and other tools in the kitchen. There was a lot of similar equipment, of course, but they were minutes different. Yeah, so they must have a traditional family, where they wear their Japanese kimonos and things around the house. So it must be that type of family. Oh, okay. Eh? At least she's honest, I suppose. A bit too honest. <laughs> no, Naomi. There's no way I'd be okay with that. Not that there was any way I'd be there baking for 24 hours straight. As usual, my little sister said some pretty questionable things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shigura took the book on raising cackles that had been left in the kitchen and giggled. I'm just learning, so there's still a lot of stuff I don't understand. Once I'd read the book, I'd realized once again that my family cackles were particularly... Excellent. Apparently, the thought that they're fluent in our language and able to live comfortably with humans made them quite exceptional. The more I read, the more I realize how much of an educational freak you are and just how well you've raised them. Mm. She spoke like a mother, closing her eyes and tapping her chest proudly. Although she was young, I could see that she was reliable and confident enough to raise six cat girls. Lucky Naomi. Oh, Seiko. Seeing that unexpected side of Shigura made me proud to be her older brother. I will take responsibility and act as a good owner. Hmm. Qualifications. Are you talking about a cooking certificate? Certi 
certification. Thank you, Naomi. No. A permit by our family cat girls have never had one of those when they leave home, right? I try to remember the times when our family cat girls went out while under Shigeru's watch. I didn't... I really didn't recall seeing any sort of permanent... <laughs> Ashikura is urging we start out of the kitchen. Has she got a certificate for chocolate and vanilla? There are bells! Wow, so the bell is their permit. That explains why they've all got bells. Mom. 